on the highway to hell. The last line of defense is a heavy rescue team ready to tackle any disaster. Because closure is not an option. The driver was heading northbound. He plowed off the road and spun into a jackknife. I'm just waiting for Gore to grab the ass end of this thing. This afternoon, Al's senior driver, Gord Boyd, arrives to help. We got a tractor trailer facing the wrong way. Al will rig two lines to straighten out the rig. Gord will pull the back end and redirect the second line from Al's bumper to hold the trailer from tip. It's amazing when two guys know what the hell they're doing. And the best part is, the truck is drivable. The next morning, at Jamie Davis' new Alberta dispatch, the boss is back on the road. With it being the holidays, Jamie is short-staffed and his plate is full. It feels good being out on the road. But this weather is tough, even on Jamie's most powerful wrecker yet, the rotator. With Jamie tied up in Alberta, he's relying on his BC crew to keep it open. But no, that's Alberta. 1,200 kilometers on Highway 99. Quite the distance down. I'm not 100% sold on him yet. How the hell did he do that? Could be the biggest job of the year. The wreck is 50 to 60 feet down into the creek making it even harder to recover. I always want it open at 10 a.m., but that's not going to happen. My goal is 3 p.m. to get it done. Phil Renault heads out in Jamie's new 50-ton wrecker, HR-116, the most powerful wrecker Jamie has in the BC operation. But even for a job like this, 116 won't be enough. Jamie's called in a big gun. Incident response 140. Part of Western Star towing and recovery. We're on a bridge, 60 to 70 feet in the air. The plan is for the rotator to lift each of the three trailers, one at a time, while HR 116 assists with the lift. I'm Chris. I'm Phil. Nice to meet you. The first step is the first trailer. You have a fast train right by you. If you fall, you're done. Let's test my mistress. Now, Chris will rotate the trailer onto the road. Now the second trailer. The third trailer is next, but it's wedged between the flatbed and the rocks. We'll just get Chris to use the power in his rotator.
Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted. The next part is the flatbed and the tractor. So, uh, we'll unhook the king pin plate and lift one item separately. Chris lifts the trailer a bit to line up the king pin plate with the pin. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! But no matter what they do, it won't unhitch. So, uh, it looks like we'll have to lift the whole unit at once. Phil Renault gets HR-116 into position for the lift. This will be the first time that Chris has ever lifted anything so precarious with his rotator. He gives you pins and needles, you know. With the tractor trailer just higher than the bridge, the crew will shift it onto the road in the air. That was a nice recovery, best one all season. It's really nice that we have Chris for a backup. Me knowing he'll be here makes me more confident. But Chris is working on a new project. Probably leave in November. Chris and his rotator will now load the three damaged RV trailers onto the low bed. Then HR-116 will tow it back to base. We'll tow the wreck home and we can call it a day. Have a good Thanksgiving. It was nice to meet you. Yes, you too. Up on a back road, the monkey is back in the forest. Me and my back roads I can't seem to get away from. Ken is back, but not in heavy rescue. Ken isn't working with us. He uh, left to go work at Mission Towing. This is Ken's first job with Mission Towing. His partner, Jordi DePerron, is fourth generation. The wreck that we are heading to is a red Corvette down the ravine. Ken will rig the cable from the wrecker down to the Corvette and wind it up the steep hill. I'll tow it with my awesome sling belt. Oh yeah, Ken is a great guy, and I'm happy he's a part of my team. 